Okay, back, ready, finally open, are finally ready to go through this whole process and see how it goes. I got three monitors I'm gonna be facing to this way. I don't have the NVIDIA eyes going. I'm not gonna be staring at the camera. So I just wanna go over the process of ordering a custom guitar from Vietnam, from Inyen Vin, Vina, Inyen Vina. Excuse me on the pronunciation, I'm really trying. Um, so to start off, I found a video on YouTube from The Bald Shredder. Just YouTube search The Bald Shredder. And there's a video that he made about custom guitars. And uh, he made at least two videos. One video on his initial impression and another video after he has some time with the guitar. So I was planning on having the same approach and having a first ever unboxing video. I've never done an unboxing video. Um, I saved opening for this guitar for this video, doing it live, improvising, just going to take the video as a session based and I don't really have time to do video cuts so who knows how long this video will be especially if I keep rambling. So if you may not have noticed I bumped up my equipment I got a new mic arm new Apollo twin with more resources so I got to do a mic and guitar at the same time I got a new video capture card so I could record stream 4k 60 FPS because before I had 30 FPS and you could see the song visualizer program the note movement will be jittery in the videos and I don't like that so I think it's worthy to get a upgraded stream setting configuration to have better quality streams. I you may notice when I'm in the guitar videos you hear me you see my mouth moving and but you can't hear me speak but now I got this new microphone we're gonna see how it goes. I, I tried to stream earlier but it took me like an hour to figure out how to separate the UAD console between the guitar and the vocals and it's very irritating to have the vocals higher than the guitar because the guitar I have to have minus 12 volume because otherwise it'll clip from too loud a volume and the vocals I doesn't have that problem. But regardless, blah, 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 let's get to the fun stuff. So there's a Facebook group for the Inyan Vina custom guitars stuff and they have a spreadsheet that has custom specifications for everything you could think of on the guitar that you could want. So what I did, I spent some time with ChatGPT going through it, customizing it to the specs that I wanted. I got specs that I could not find anywhere else. Um, we're going to go through that. But um, uh, this is the only place I could get this type of guitar with these specs that I wanted. So I'm kind of excited and I'm ready to start. So let's see. Um, first of all... Let's go through the spreadsheet. I got like 10 to 11 different documents to go over. And the documents, well, documents, images, and it's going in the order that um, the custom order went through for this process. So this spreadsheet was the one that I sent initially, my first message, and I went through as much as I could. Um, let's see, let's go through it. So let's, we're going to start the left right here. Start with the neck. So I decided on I decided on mahogany body, or sorry, mahogany neck um, with no lamination and a one piece neck. I chose a single action, accessible at headstock, with a shape slim taper, neck joint set neck number string six. I'm not a seven or eight or nine string, 12 string person. Not yet. And I didn't know at first what to put for lamination or, or um, neck joint. I knew the shape, you know, think of 60 styles neck. I chose a Gibson SG neck, which I believe that is, as well as some other stuff. But let's go to the head. So for the head, I chose the shape of a six-string reversed headstock, similar to a Schecter Banshee Mach 6, pictured right here on the left of my head. 
check right above the guitar amp or sorry right right above the pod, or the microphone arm this I wanted the similar style um, for the headstock so I just attached the picture for reference um, the fingerboard I wanted stainless steel ebony the reason is because I don't have a guitar with ebony and I've been getting into drop C tuning and I want that toned wood you know I want that toned wood on my side but stainless steel I hear they damage the frets but I plan on using coated strings every time I play and let's move on from that from the nut fingerboard nut I just chose uh, I think it's the Gibson similar Gibson SG similar as far as the radius is Gibson SG the scale is Gibson SG I like the Gibson SG 24.75 inch scale because um, when doing a sp my one particular reason for wanting this um, Gibson scale for the fingerboard is because um, excuse me I'm doing my picks is because there's one card or one chord in particular that makes me choose this particular f um, fretboard scale length and that's the first finger the fourth finger index and the pinky like doing a fifth fret on the first finger and a what is it ninth or tenth fret with the pinky I can't do that on a 25 inch length it's it's not gonna happen I need that shorter distance between the frets, the first and pinky, because there's E standard and there's drop C that, that uses that particular chord between metalcore and rock and roll. They both use them ironically, at least kill switch engage and a whole bunch of E standard. Sorry, kill switch engage is the drop C and E standard being the E standard. I sorry, E standard being the rock and roll, of course, but the, the Facebook extension here sorry facebook not facebook fingerboard i'm thinking facebook because this this indian vena has a facebook group and i'm trying to share like what i got and stuff like that so anyways we talked about the the fingerboard fretboard or fretboard fretboard uh end of shape no we went oh sorry i'm losing my spot here fingerboard extension slight round over the body for easier fret access like got the higher frets even though I chose 22 frets we'll get there I don't think all oh, right here uh, fret wire it shows the same as the Gibson SG and number of frets uh, 22 medium jumbo um, same as Gibson SG I just wanted to key things about this guitar that I wanted custom specifically 22 frets right you hear all this stuff about 24 frets all the 24 frets is great 22 frets is great 21 22 24 and I've never had a good 24 guitar fret and, and I don't want one I don't plan on going to those frets I just want 22 but there is something we're gonna get to sorry I'm just playing with my picks you're gonna hear that there's something that I'm we're gonna get to that I is key regarding the frets 22 24 other than just how many frets they are um, we'll get there so let's go to the finish um, I just chose standard category a uh, satin non-reflective reference to picture uh, available color wonderless metallic green so reference to picture body type body side body back head top okay body back I did I did choose this, which um, perhaps was my mistake, but I can't blame Inyun Vina for doing everything as I asked in this regard. The You'll see why later, or we'll, we'll see. I'm getting ahead of myself. But I chose everything pretty much green. The, uh, the body top, body side, body back, head, ex other than the head top. The head top I chose as black. The Fred stock, the um, the headstock I chose as a black. Um, we'll get there, and then the neck back. 
See, this is where I think I made the mistake. Perhaps I should have had the neck, neck back as black to match the, the neck front. Or, sorry, I'm thinking the, fr the headstock. I'm getting ahead of myself again. Uh, because I know the headstock back is green and the headstock front is black. But we'll get there. So the fingerboard, once again, I chose stainless steel ebony. And then cavity shield, I just showed standard or manufacturer's recommendation. I just don't want any homey noise. Please block outside noise. I am doing down tuning this guitar. Okay, so the headstock, I chose a logo brand as my first and last name, Kyle A. Bent. Uh, if you reference, reference the headstock for the one I supplied in this image, instead of Schechter, just have Kyle A. Bent. In the series, I chose Custom Green Dream as referenced as the picture, and other as Python powered riffs in promotion of my song creator song visualizer and keep in mind this right here right not just the picture of the color but look at the headstock right this is i think it's 22 frets right let's see 15 17 19 21 22. it always throws me off because the last one is not an actual full fret but this is 22 frets, and I'll give you a hint. Look at the pickup position where it's at. It's flush, right? Keep that in mind. The difference between 22 frets and 24 frets is the neck position, okay? Keep that in mind. Um, parts. Plating color, chrome. Oh, sorry. Um, I skipped. Serial number, KA001, made in Vietnam. And who knows if, if we'll ever get a KA002. Okay, but serial, country made in Vietnam, to be fair. Logo, put a cockatiel image. I supplied, if possible, have this, or I gave another option, this one. So I gave two options. I was like, I don't know which one, but they're both pretty good, if you ask me. The next one... Uh, parts, plating, chrome, screw color, chrome, tuning machines, locking tuners, nut, graph tech, string retainer, not any. I don't prefer string retainers because that's, I associate that with tremolos. I just pr I prefer locking tuners. Neck pr joint, plate, chrome neck plate, bridge or tremolo. <laughs> this is a joke. I play extra for every tune. Otherwise, tunomatic, just like this picture. Uh, telepiece, stop bar, telepiece, this right here at the bottom. You know, thinking about it, it would be cool to have the RSP-02T telepiece, like a race car strip, but that's okay. It could be the next guitar, um, just like the Yamaha. Um, up next is string stopper. I don't want a string stopper. Strain, strap pin. I don't care about strap pin. I, don't, I, play, I sit down playing. Um... Next, next, knob, chrome dome knobs. But here's one thing. <clears throat> I only need a single master volume knob. I don't need a knob for each pickup. And I don't need a tone knob. My tone is always 10. Who plays with tone below 10? Not me. Next up, pick guard. Not any. I don't care for pick guards. I mean, if they have one, then I'll leave it on. But if it doesn't have one, then I don't care. Um... I don't, if I scratch it, who, who, like, who really needs a pick card below their strings? Like, who, pick, I don't get that. I string, I pluck directly on the string. All right, next up, tremolo cover, not any, control cover, matching guitar. Uh, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Battery cover, chrome, other cover, chrome, jack plate, chrome, switch plate, chrome. All right, so that's the first initial thing I sent over to request my custom guitar. And up next is another document. Let's see. Okay, so this is what I got back. The initial one that I got back because I, upgrade, I updated the 
the request to have a default initial fretboard inlays. I don't know if I skipped that, but at one point I wanted my name spelled out on the headstock, but I, re I reversed that. Oh, right here. I guess I skipped that earlier. Um, position inlay. See, originally I wanted my first and last name spelled, but I changed that to default inlays. Um, side dot inlay is the standard 357912, and then the double dots on 1517. Binding, single ply green. Turns out they don't have single ply green, so I had to change that to white, I think. Um, other inlays, small star inlay on the first fret for a touch of flare. Uh, I don't even remember if that happened. I not. I don't care if we did or not. Yes, yeah, single ply. Shape, solid Les Paul, material mahogany. All right, let's go to the next one, right? So this was the first initial drawing they sent. You see the reversed headstock. I don't see star, but I don't care about that. We got the default fretboard inlays, 357 to 912, 15, 17, 19, 21. The Gibson scale, 2014, or sorry, 2475, but you don't have the uh, pickup position that I requested. Or did I? I mean, did I just skip over that part? Oh, right here, pickups. Configuration, is it possible to have the pickup's position as if it were 24 frets, slight distance from the fretboard so there's no muddy tone? Neck pickup, EMG81. Bridge pickup, EMG85. Color, black or chrome. Logo with logo. Mounting style, pickup rings. And other, can I have to switch the same position in the area as the two guitar pictures I placed northwest of bridge? Which they did. Pickup position is right here, northwest of neck bridge or whatever the direction is, it's above it. Um, I like that position because you don't accidentally hit it like you do on a telly or strat in the, when it's lower. And there's only one knob, master volume. I don't need no tone knob. I don't need no other types of knobs. <coughs> and so I had to ask about the, like, hey, the pickup position, is it possible? I had to bug, bug them like, about that again. And at first, <clears throat> At first, I was like, no, it's going to be ugly. I was like, well, that's really what I want. Like, I want the pick I want the pickup sound of 24, but the frets of 22. With slam taper, medium jumbo. No one else offers that with EMG8185. But they did, right? Uh, one second. That's a cool thing about requesting custom guitar, right? It's whatever you want. In this case, I wanted... Is the... You're going to get a head start right here. Is the neck pickup emulating a 24 fret with added gap? I just took a picture of the drawing and I asked a question because it looks like it's 22 frets, this pickup is flush. So the next thing, picture image three, and then I looked at the um, the neck, and I, I was like, hey, I have a Harley, Harley Benton SE Custom 2, and the left of it, I mean, the picture on the left has, like, a easier-to-access, um, you know, neck area, compared to, like, the drawing kind of shows a big bulky. And then the next image... I was like, hey, I found this video on YouTube that demonstrates the 22 plus 24 fret slot or uh, neck pickup positions and how they affect tone. Gets ready to, rid of the muddy sound, right? So then they sent another drawing and you can see the neck pickup is now distance away from the fretboard. Although I got nitpicky, I was like, hey, the, the image on the left isn't, and how do I know that this is actually the distance of 24? And then next up, <laughs> that's just an image I put. It's like, hey, I see the gap on the right, but not the left. You know, I was being picky, right? Then next up, the updated drawing of 
the pickup on the left distance as well as emphasis on the gap between the neck pickup and the frets. So he was saying, hey, this pickup is the correct position position for your taste, right? It's 22 frets, but the pickup is positioned as if it were 24. Pretty cool if you ask me. Then suddenly, the guitar is in production without any color, but the body's there. You could see the whole thing, right? Everything I asked, right? Then you could see the um, the painting being applied to it, right? Black headstock, front, guitar, green, everything else. The next up, I got questioned about, hey, pick one. A, well, first of all, here's an update to the headstock, right? Kyle Avent, Custom Green Dream, Python Powered Riffs. But I had the option. <clears throat> remember I could, <clears throat> excuse me, remember I couldn't decide on the, um, Headstock image. Well, he gave me two examples. Here's one, cockatiel body, with the text saying, handcrafted for Kyle the Guitar Man, KA001, made in Vietnam. Then there's option two. The cockatiel body, or sorry, the head. And I was like, the body looks better than the head in this, in this case just stuck out more, right? See? Side by side. So I chose the cockatiel body. Um... Next up, uh, picture 11. You can see it actually placed on there. And this is where I was thinking to myself, maybe I should have requested a custom black color because I don't know how legible it is. Because if you look at the back, gray on, on green, hard to read. But hey, I can't be picky. It's okay. As long as like the cockatiel body looks pretty cool, right? Up next... Picture 11, the headstock, perhaps my favorite picture so far. Kyle Avent, custom green dream, Python powered riffs. Thirteen, the back, reflective, it's okay. Color is good, I like the color. You can see the, the plates, black, whatever. I'm not picky about that at all. The front body picture in full, we can see indeed the positioning. I don't care if it's ugly. I just, I just want the sound. And I'm happy with that. But you can see the distance. It's positioned as if it were 24, but it's 22. Stainless steel ebony. And then picture close up of the front and the back. Let's go back to the headstock on the back. I just want to see something. Oh, where'd it go? There we go. Locking tuners, right? That's good. A lot of features on here. And that's it for images. So moment of truth is to actually open the guitar box now. I haven't opened it yet. Just gone through the drawing, the design spreadsheet, the request. The whole conversation of designing and building this from October something, the beginning of October, like October 9th to now 11.29. So I'll go grab the box. Hold on.
Okay. This is the box, right? It's not even opened. There's a big fragile icon on here. This tape's pretty good, right? Got here really quick. Shipped on a Monday, got here on a Wednesday from Vietnam. So I'm going to make some noise and open it and take a look at it. If you don't mind hearing the sound of it. They say never to cut towards yourself, but I kind of want to show cutting it on the video. Just using a screwdriver, right? Don't matter. It's hard to do this on video. We'll see it. I'm sure I missed a spot. How long will it take? Will it match the specs? Of course it should. We saw the pictures. Might take me five, ten minutes if I'm sitting down. Oh, getting there. Can I, can I do it? I think I could do it. Oh, here we go. It's coming out. Moment of truth. The lid is almost off. good protection on here. I'm doing this all wrong. I'm trying to take the lid off and I have to do undo all the tape because I'm not cutting it. Okay, we're good. With that out the way, you can kind of see some green, right? Truss rod on the top. Hold on. Let me um, make the, this bigger. Hold on. Truss rod. Okay, here we go. I guess I'll do it the traditional way. Oh, wow. It's too zoomed in, the headstock. It's pretty heavy. Oh, you could really read the back. Oh, wow. That is actually good. 
the white it, perhaps not on the video the vi <laughs> it's going to get cut off on the um green screen i'm sure i did this one thing i didn't think about the, the guitar is going to be green screening That's one thing I completely didn't think about. Oh, look at that green screen guitar. I think that makes it better. Man, I didn't want reflective. It's reflective. But other than that, the pickup position is what I wanted. I understand what he means about saying it'll look ugly, but it's okay. It's got... Oh, there we go, that was just a smudge. I know the green screen filter is ruining it. Give me a second. Let's see if I could turn off the green screen filter for a minute. I mean, I'm using OBS filter. Which one is it? No. Noise gate. Chroma key. There we go. See? It's going to blend in with my green screen. I think that's okay. Going to have to check it out. Drop C tuning. That's what I wanted this for initially. Then, then I'll have open our E standard tuning as well because I could stick with the string gauge 11 yeah that headstock actually looks neat on the back all right let, one second I know the camera is up too high hold on so you're only going to see it as a reflective machine instead of a green it's funny the whole reason I wanted non-reflective what could you do okay definitely not in tune I don't know how far I want to go with this right now it'll take some time to set up Pickup positions may have to be adjusted. They're really flat. And the string height, I'll have to see. I'm not going to, I don't understand guitar reviews who say, oh, the guitar is not set up good. Initial, you know, when you initially open it, brand new. Big whoop. You're going to have to change it anyways, one day. You just have to get used to it. It's a part of it. But um, that's really all I wa wanted to make a video for. I mean, sure, I could go longer and tune it, adjust it. I'm sure I'll get there. I don't think that's an exciting thing to share. I think it was more exciting to share this new guitar. So... Let's see. I'll just leave it at that. Come back um, for session 385. Okay, cool. See ya.